Okay, so for this wound on the ear tip then we need to make sure we get all our equipment out. So we've got a wound dressing, we've got our first layer which is our supported layer, our secondary layer and our protective layer. Remember with the wound dressing always pick it up the other side to the shiny side. The shiny side is the side that we're going to apply to the wound. So this is where then your wound is on the tip of the ear. So first of all we want to pad behind the ear because that just gives the ear a little bit of support when it's at the back of the head. And then we want to apply the wound dressing, remember shiny side down to the wound. Then what we're doing is we're then applying our primary layer which is our nice supportive layer. We're going to wrap it round the other ear and we do this in like a figure of eight. So you start one side of the ear, come round the ear with the wound and then back round the ear again. So it's like a figure of eight round that ear that isn't hurt, injured. All right, and you just carry on until that whole injured ear is covered and supported. Okay, so then you're applying your secondary layer. So this layer then basically holds on your soft band. So this layer we don't want to do too tight but you can apply it a little bit tight because we obviously don't want the bandage to slip. So what I'm doing is as I'm applying this layer I'm putting two fingers down the neck and that is checking tension to make sure it's not too tight. If you can fit two fingers down there then your tension is okay. And what you're doing with this bandage layer then is you're doing exactly the same with the soft band. You're doing a figure of eight round the non-injured ear. And what we're doing is we're making sure that we cover all of your first primary layer, your supportive layer. So you carry on until you're happy that you've covered all of that supportive layer. Carry on doing your figure of eight. Ensure that your ear is still sticking out. I'm just tucking in an end there so it doesn't fall. And again, right at the end when you've done it, check your tension. Make sure your two fingers go down the neck nicely. Then what we're using now is the last layer, which is our protective layer. So we don't want to put this layer on too tight. So when you unroll Co Coflex, make sure you give it a little bit of an unroll off, off the actual roll itself um, to kind of free up the tension of it. We don't want this too tight because it does actually form quite a, a tight um, kind of bandage around the head otherwise. All this layer is meant to do is it's just meant to protect the other two layers. So it's not, uh, not supposed to go on tight. So again with this bandage you're just doing exactly the same as the other ones. You're just doing a figure of eight round the ear. Make sure that the ear is still sticking out. Make sure you haven't covered the eyes at all and just ensure all the other two layers of bandage are all nice and tucked in and covered. The other thing that I'm doing again is I'm just checking tension. And then just checking it's nice and neat and that I'm happy. And then the last thing we want to do is mark the actual ear tip itself because when we're cutting the bandage off that just helps to see where that tip of the ear is.